Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make Twitch graphics without using Photoshop and without even needing any graphic design knowledge. Oh, did I mention for free? For free! <laughs> Now I've covered template based websites before, but the service we're going to be talking about today is Adobe Spark, which is kind enough to actually sponsor this video. Now Adobe Spark is not new, but they've been putting out some content for Twitch streamers now. And this is what we're going to be checking out today. So when it's your first time going to spark.adobe.com, you will have to click on one of those blue buttons that say get started or start now. And it will bring you to a login page. All you have to do is continue with whatever account you want. And the process is very fast. Once you're logged in up top here, you can click and type whatever research you want. In our case, we want some Twitch graphics. Let's type Twitch and see what comes up. Okay, so suggestion says Twitch or Twitch banner. Let's click Twitch banner and see what they have. So as you can see, there's already a ton of templates and I'm guessing they're adding even more. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that there is a premium feature with Adobe Spark. The templates that are premium only will be marked with that little yellow badge, but there's already so much that you can do just for free. Let's click on this template, for example. Okay, this is cool. Click create. While it's loading, it's actually giving you some marketing and branding tips which is awesome. Okay, now it's loaded. Now you clicked on a template that already has text in the middle, text top left, and then your social media accounts. And I know you see that little Adobe Spark logo. We can just click on it and click remove once. It will prompt you with this with the premium service, but you can just close that or you can actually consider the premium services and uh, read through it. But for now, we're using the free version. Let's click close. And then for the text, you can click once to modify it, the style, the color, the shape, the effects, or you can double click it to type whatever you want. Click done, boom, now it's your text. And as you can see, the shape behind it actually changed too, just to apply to the text that I typed. Let's change that. Okay, we can bring this up here. And as you can see, you have like little guidelines that help you move things around. And I'm gonna do the same for the social media links. You can also move uh, things around with your arrow keys, of course, if you want more precision. Pretty cool. Now I want those texts to be actually white. So with the text selected on the right bar, I'm gonna click color and then I'm gonna click change color. So here we have like main color and then background color. Keep in mind that background color here, like the secondary color is going to be the color attributed to the shape. So the Twitter thing is controlled here. So if I wanted that Twitter thing to be blue, I could just click here and it would be blue. But let's keep it white, I like that. Boom. Another cool thing that I love is the color suggestions. Basically, if you're going to change any color, it's going to suggest color palette, which is so cool because it actually gives you colors that match your already set branding. OK, so you don't go too crazy with the colors and you stay within, you know, graphic design rules. OK, let's say that you made this and you don't really like it. That's fine. Let's go ahead and click on another template back here. Click create. And there we go. And when it comes to the text, they already have a bunch of fonts available, but if you have the premium version, you can actually access Adobe fonts to get even more fonts. A feature that I really like, if you don't like spending too much time here under style, you have this little wheel thing. And this is basically what I call a brainstorming wheel because it will create different things. It will give you different fonts, different styles until you find something that you're kind of cool with. Always maintaining the basic branding. That means that the colors will still stay true to your to your branding and you can just turn it until you're satisfied. It's say I like that. Another feature that's really important is, you know, once you created your banner, because like this is a banner format, let's say that you want an offline image. How do you go from one to the other? So let's click outside of this and then at resize here. This is where you get all the options for anything else that you want to, to do. So if you want to make a Twitter header out of that, you can just click on it. It will format it correctly. Um, but for our case, we want an offline image. So that would be a standard 1080p, right? Let's go widescreen, 16 by nine. And then boom, now we have an offline image. It's really that easy. Now, when it comes to the images, like the background images for every template, of course, you can change those. Just click replace. And then you can just type whatever you want. In this case, we have space. Just pick, a, pick an image and it will replace it. And if you want to add anything top right, there's this big add button. If you want to add more text, uh, another picture, some icons, some logos and everything. Let me add a couple of shapes to make this look more customized. Anyways, the goal here is to show you that even when you pick a template, you can customize it so much that it doesn't even look like the original template anymore and you can create something unique with it. 
a huge advantage here is that even if you go with the premium version, it is still a cheaper alternative to Photoshop. Plus, Adobe Spark is available on mobile and tablet, so you don't need your project files to be on a specific hard drive. You can access them anywhere in the world on any device. And then once you're satisfied with your edit, all you have to do is go top right here and click download, select a, a file format, click start download, and boom, it will download it. Just click on your image here, and that's it. In a couple of clicks, we created an offline image for free. Now, obviously, I'm only showing you the tip of the iceberg here. My goal is to show you the product, and then you go ahead and tinker with it and discover all the features. I would like to send a huge thanks to Adobe Spark for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check it out, link will be in the description. The link will be an affiliate link just in case you want to go with the premium and also support the channel. But that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. Give us some feedback. If you want some stuff added, uh, people from Adobe will probably be reading the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Stay inside. Wash your hands. Make me proud. Get level out.